guys, my name is Evan Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick cinematic color grade from the Lil Yachty Boat Show on YouTube. Now today, shout out to a very special and super talented videographer, AMD Visuals. For those of you who don't know, Ari is the one who's behind the Lil Yachty Boat Show. He's responsible for creating all the amazing cinematic looks and shots. And in the most recent season, the color grade has been absolutely phenomenal. This overall style of cinematic, vintage, film grain, color grade look has really kind of blown up a lot, especially in the music video and vlogging space. And yeah, most notably in Lil Yachty's Boat Show. Now today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this exact look or something close to it, but we are only gonna be using post-production, whether you shot it in log or auto, I'm gonna to try to show you an easy, simple, super fast way that you can create a similar look that just makes your footage feel a lot more cinematic and retro. Now there's two methods that we're gonna be using to create this. First one, I'm gonna just be showing you how you can manually color grade this in Premiere Pro to the best of your abilities. And then the next method is big shout out, especially to a really super powerful plugin, Dehancer.net. Dehancer.net has really been stepping up their game. They created a super easy plugin that works right into Premiere Pro and it's been absolutely phenomenal. It's a paid plugin, but does have a free demo trial. The link is down below in the description. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe if you find this video interesting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, guys. So now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro, Starting off right here, we have a couple of clips which we're just going to test some color grading on. The first thing that we're going to do, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, we are going to start off with the Dehancer.net plugin. Now, if you haven't downloaded the plugin, make sure you go to their website, Dehancer.net, download the plugin. There's a free version. It does have a watermark, I believe. So make sure to go check it out for sure. As you're just about to see right now, it's really an insane plugin. Here's why. So once you have the Dehancer.net plugin downloaded, the first thing that you're going to do is come to your effects and search for Dehancer.net. We are going to start off. Let's let's first start off with this logo because there's some there's a couple things that I just want to break down first which define the film look. Let's go ahead and apply the Dehancer.net plugin right here to the 11% logo. Now immediately it applied one of the, I guess you could call it LUTs. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to see it applies and if you come to your effects control panel, there is a bunch of different options right here. You have input, film developer, compression, expand, print, like all this stuff. What's going on? Very, very simple. Basically the first few main ones you have to worry about are input and film and basically the input is like the low key. I don't even know any of these settings mean. I just know that if I change the settings around, it kind of gives it a little different look. But let's just go ahead and start with this DVR WG Rec 709. There's three main concepts that define film look. First, obviously being the color grade. Typically film looks have a teal and orange look. I mean, you know, typical of all cinematic video. Moving on to the second part is halation. Now halation, for those of you who don't know, is basically the contrasting and and bright edges that appear on a film camera because film cameras back then they didn't really know how to process light and hard contrasting edges so there was a little bit of a red or yellowish blur which we're about to show you right now and lastly third is the bloom or the glow or I like to call uh, the mist glow filterish look and that basically just makes the video look a little bit dreamy and a little bit um misty and soft and it's honestly these are all combined together it really creates a unique look and lastly i guess it could have its own area is the noise noise i mean it's pretty much a given but yeah of course noise always add that on at the end just wrap it up tie it all together bow on top and with that said you have a simple film look and why this dehancer.net pro plugin is so important and so useful is because it has all three which we're about to show you right now so first off if you scroll down right here to the halation there's a halation tab of course first thing you're gonna do is click enable and when you hit enable it looks like nothing really changed but if we zoom in I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in you see that we now have a little bit of a reddish orange edge around our text if we turn it off not there turn on on and basically you can adjust and change this by adjusting the global diffusion and the local diffusion and you can see if you change both of these settings you can really get some pretty drastic looks right here so we can just change the settings however you like but what's really unique about Dehancer.net Pro plugin, I believe they are using a little bit of AI to identify harsh edges. This is a really easy one just because it's a white logo on a back background, but we're just kind of testing out effects going off right here. Next, moving on to our bloom. The bloom, insane. If we hit enable, 
boom. There we go. We already have a crap ton of glow. When we apply this to video, it really does a fantastic job at adding just a nice misty feel to everything. It looks like that's an 11% logo from like a 90s film TV or something. With all that out the way, let's actually put this plug into work. So starting off right here, I just have a nice shot right here. Daytime, we kind of have a nice blue sky and we have a nice variety of colors. Let's go ahead and drag on that dehancer. First thing we do, we have right here is, honestly, it looks pretty dull but it definitely has a unique film characteristic look. There's obviously that noise. We kind of have this nice flat tone going on right here. And it, it, did, it does feel like a film look. I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep this input the same. I would say experiment with the inputs, of course, but you know, mess around with which few you like the best. Now, moving on to our profiles. One of the profiles that I like the most, the ORWO Chrome, I honestly don't know. I just, just click on it and boom, straight off the bat, Wow, it looks pretty nice, bright, and vibrant. It definitely kind of dulled all the rest of the colors down a little bit, but it still makes everything feel a little bit more brighter. And especially, of course, if there's some areas that you definitely want to change, but you can't do in the Dehancer Pro plugin, you can obviously, of course, just come to Lumetri Color and just adjust it here. I kind of want this grass to be a little bit green. So I can do that by just simply selecting all of our grass right here and making our grass a little bit more green. Perfect. I also might just add a little bit of warmth by increasing the warmth tone on our basic color correction and boom. Now we kind of have a nice looking scene going on right here. Now let's go ahead and input some bloom and howlation. Starting off with the howlation, we go ahead and make sure to click the enable and right off the bat, you can see right here in the very fine edges of this left border, we kind of have some howlation taking into effect right here. If we click the enable, you can see that it's definitely adding some warmish orange edges going on right here. Adjust and change. This is honestly what I love about this plugin the most is that you can have, you have like pretty much full control over how much halation you want. And opposed to if you're shooting like on an actual film camera, you just get what you get. But this really gives you ultimate full control and full power over everything. It's really amazing. The local diffusion affects the radius of the glow and then the global diffusion affects like how much of the scene is actually gonna have halation. Now let's do the same thing with the bloom, which you can do right here by just clicking enable. And if we click the enable, you can see it definitely made things a little bit more mistier. For brighter shots, you don't really need that much bloom. You know, obviously helps. So I'm just gonna decrease the highlights a tad bit. Perfect, look at this amazing, beautiful shot. And obviously if we compare with the before and after, it looks a ton better, especially with this amazing film look. And it looks super smooth as a film camera with just so little like effort. And all we did was just apply an effect and adjust some settings and boom, we have an amazing film look right here. It's an insane plugin, definitely make sure to go Go check it out. And I'm sorry guys, but one last thing I really just have to have to show off about this plugin just because it's so amazing is let's go ahead and of course add some titles to some of our footage right here. So right here, I'm just going to go drag in right here. Uh, let's do this sample title, which by the way, if you haven't caught the 11% music video title kit pack yet, definitely make sure to go check it out. Right here, we just dragged in a simple sample title from the kit. It's super easy and everything right here, you can just totally adjust, adjust sizes, font, it's super easy to use. So let's go just ahead and type something in. Now let's go ahead and just nest everything together. And let's go ahead and just apply that dehancer.net plugin. And once we apply it, boom, we have a pretty decent look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the Oro. Now let's go ahead and apply some halation to this. If we go ahead and hit the enabled on it, you can see that this halation is not only affecting our footage, but also the logo right here, the, the title card. And if we adjust the diffusion and the global diffusion, it's really taking into play and it just looks absolutely incredible. The amount of power that this plugin has, let's go ahead for the heck of it, just add a orange and teal LUT to this. Oh man, that looks super saturated. It's just absolutely insane the amount of power that this plugin has. But now moving on, as of course I promised, how can we create this same color grade look without a plugin and from scratch? Well, of course there's always a way to do everything in Premiere Pro. So right here we have some nighttime footage in Japan. Let's go ahead and color grade this into a nice orange and teal cinematic film look. Well, the first thing that we're gonna do is of course add a nice orange, orange and teal look. So so let's go ahead and simply do that by going to their creative tab on our Lumetri color and adding a nice tealish shadow tint and then bringing up the highlight tints to like a very nice warm orange. Now we're gonna go ahead and enhance these in just a bit, but this helps basically set the tone for this orange and teal look that we're going for as we now can go ahead and add our bloom. 
So to add a bloom and create a bloom in Scratch, you can basically hold Option or Alt and duplicate your video, drag a layer above it. I'm gonna come over my effects. I'm gonna go search and drag a Gaussian blur to my top layer. And then I'm just going to increase the blurriness to about 32. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen and boom, voila, we have a nice, very hard glowing scene right here. I'm gonna decrease this opacity to about like 47, 50%, actually maybe even just a tad bit lower. And I also might just decrease the blurriness to about like 20-ish percent. And basically what this helps do is just make the glow not seem super bright and super dramatic, but it just helps add these little subtle fixes. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna select both clips and nest them together. Now, of course, it's time to to add the infamous halation. Well, how are we gonna do this on Premiere Pro? Well, shout out to Color Grading Central for this method, but this is really a great method. Basically, once again, hold Alt or Option and duplicate the nested layer. And what you're going to do is search for an extract effect. We're gonna drag the extract effect to our top layer and you're gonna see everything just turn like kind of black and white. And now what you're gonna do is you're just going to increase the black input level to like a really high value and then decrease the white input value to like 140. It honestly really depends on your footage, but as long as you have a nice set of like white outlines around most of the footage, things should be pretty good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for and apply a tint effect. I'm gonna drag this tint effect once again to my top layer and I'm gonna come over here to my map to white and I'm gonna set this to a very bright red. Now everything looks red. But what we're gonna do is once again, we're gonna apply, come back here to our effects and presets and we are going to apply a Gaussian blur effect. Now I'm gonna increase this Gaussian blur to about like 45. We can of course change things as we go. And now finally for the big moment, moment of truth, set the blending mode to screen and voila, we kind of, we kind of have a nice, very rough halation effect going on right here. And now this is obviously, of course, where you're just gonna wanna come around and mess around with the other settings that you've applied, but this really depends on your footage. So for my case example, I'm kind of just messing around with the black and white input values until I get a nice glow of red around a lot of my contrasting edges. I'm kind of referencing these people right here in this bottom left-hand corner. And as you can see, the halation effect is working working pretty decently on them. If I just mess around and change these values, what I notice works well is having a higher white input level than your black input level. And it really overall helps create a nice set of red glowing edges. And now of course, if there's some areas where you just don't want any red halation, like this little car in the front, I can obviously create a mask over my tint and then I could just drag that exactly to where I want it. And then I could just invert the mask and voila, we can just go ahead and bump up the feather like a crap ton and we should honestly be pretty good. There we go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice set of halation effect. Lastly, of course, don't forget to nest it one more time as we are going to add a final orange and teal look. I kind of have a nice set of orange and teal looks that I've accumulated in the past. I honestly can't remember where I downloaded this one, but I will just link it in the description below for free for you guys because you guys are the GOAT and I know you guys are going to create amazing work regardless definitely go make sure to download in the description below just make sure you hit the subscribe button really thank you i appreciate it and once we apply this nice orange and teal look right here, wow that looks pretty beautiful for a like scratch film look lastly what you can do is add some noise to it but what i've noticed a lot is that adding noise often reduces the amount of halation and glow like if i drag it in and let's go ahead boom you see all that halation is just gone now so i i honestly am not sure what the deal is with that, my recommendation for this would just be to separately export this video, bring it back into Premiere Pro, and then add some noise on after. Even adding an adjustment layer with noise has messed this up in the past before, but you definitely wanna get some noise in. It's not super mandatory, but you know, it definitely helps tie things together. So I definitely recommend trying to add that if you can without destroying the halation completely. But without further ado, and with that guys, that is how you create some absolutely insane, stunning film looks completely from scratch and with the dehancer.net plugin. If you guys haven't downloaded or checked that out,
off. Definitely make sure to check the link in the description below. And as usual, make sure to create some amazing work. And if you're really digging some of the titles that we use right here, definitely make sure to go check out the 11percent.net website for our exclusive 15 preset music video title pack. It's an absolutely insane title pack. There's 15 complete customizable titles that you can use. If you're ever someone who has a lot of trouble with coming up with unique title card designs, definitely make sure to check it out. It's super fun, super easy to use. But without further ado, here are the final looks on this film look. If you guys have made this end of the video, once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really, it means so much to me. I hope at the end of this, you guys have a super sick cinematic retro film look that you can use to spice up your videos or whatever projects you're working on. If you had any questions or concerns, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at 11%prod. Tag us. We love to see what you guys create. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.